Good morning, Modern Steaders. It's a nice brisk 10 degrees out this morning. It's supposed to warm up and get into the 30s. And then this coming week, later on, there's some days we're gonna be in the 50s. Oh, it's gonna be a good week. The barn gets delivered. <laughs> Man, we're moving forward here. Spring time is here. It doesn't look like it with all the snow, but I'm telling you, it's here. The snow is gonna be melting. Sap's gonna be flowing. We're gonna be boiling and making maple syrup. Oh, we're gonna be having chicks getting here soon. Baby goats, piglets. Oh, it's a busy time on the homestead, but a good time. You girls ready for some warmer weather? Cause it's coming. I'm telling you, it's coming. They said, we're just ready for breakfast. We just want to eat. Here you go. Have breakfast. Good morning, Willow. How are your babies doing? Buttercup. Blossom. I also think Pluto's had enough of this cold weather. She's not enjoying it outside that much right now. Huh, you'd rather sit in front of the fire. She's like, yep, I'm going back there now. You ready for that fire? Big Rose like, I'm sure enjoying it in front of the fireplace. I'm excited for this ice to stop melting, guys. Woohoo! <laughs> we have our own personal ice skating driveway. <sighs> the chickens are quiet this morning. Usually they're making quite a bit of noise when we're over here. I can hear one of the hens. Good morning, moose, ladies. Warmer weather is coming. That means green grass and being out on pasture soon. I know, you're excited. Girls, stay warm and lay lots of eggs today. She's asking us, hey, can I have my privacy? I want to go in the nesting box and lay you an egg. All right, I'll give you your privacy. Today's the second day of the free heritage cooking crash course that Jill Winger is putting on from the Prairie Homestead. And today's cooking series is on bread making and fermentation. I thought today we'd do a fun giveaway and we're gonna be giving away a free organic SCOBY from heritageacresmarket.com. I'm also gonna be giving away the simple, easy DIY kombucha ebook from our friend Michelle over at Solely Rested. To enter the giveaway, I have a link in the description down below. Sign up for the Heritage Cooking Crash Course, and then the comments down below. Leave down there, kombucha. And then you're entered in the giveaway at the end of the day, today, or first thing tomorrow morning. I'll pick one random winner who left the word kombucha in the comment box. Doing giveaways can be so much fun. What do you think you're making? Peanut butter cups. What? You want to make peanut butter cups today? Yeah. All right, let's try it. Ooh, your favorite. Do I do pulse? Uh, yeah, we can just pulse it. So we're going to do two and a half cups. So let's, we're going to grind up two and a half cups of dry roasted peanuts. We're gonna make our own peanut filling for the butter cups.
Mom's melting chocolate and you're making peanut butter. Yeah, it smells, it smells a lot like peanut butter. Whoa, it is peanut butter. Wow. Just keep it. I think you made peanut butter. Yeah, it's so weird. You made a big blob of something. It smells like peanut butter. Smell like it? Yep. Yeah. We finished making the peanut butter filling. We need half a cup of sugar and three tablespoons of water. Making sure that don't burn. Yeah. All right, I'll get the peanut butter ready. Now we gotta try to get it like a quarter of an inch thick. And make sure we stay on the wax paper. So satisfying. How many think we can make? I don't know. What do you want me to do that? Yep, it's perfect. Don't waste any. This works good. You like that? This is not what it's going to Darn it. Son of a... Probably you, I would have been better. I wonder how many peanut butter cups we're going to make. Holy moly. So, the true question is, do we share them with friends or do we eat them all ourselves? I guess first we gotta figure out if they're good or not, right? I don't think anybody will like this. You don't think anybody will like them? No? <laughs> not that. Keep them all to ourselves. Man! It's hardened up. Yes. You having fun? Yes. Then take the chocolate and just kind of drop it. And it smooths it out and evens it out nicely.
You can't have any peanut butter cups. Sorry there, Tanner. That's good. Might run out of chocolate. You only have one left. I know, but you don't got much in there. That one's gonna be a weird one. And it'll be a surprise for whoever gets it. Yeah. I think it'll already be broken in half. That was the hard part. Waiting to try one till they cool off. This way, hey, to the goats. Come on, come on. Go see the goats. Come on. We're gonna check and see if they need hay. Girls eat all your hay. You want a treat? You want one, Willow? Oh, I think I'll give you more. Just because. Down. Uh uh, stay down. There you go. You girls enjoying the warmer weather? <laughs> stay on the trail. He's gonna be one tired puppy. Holy moly. I need your pockets. Yes. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I need a place to put eight eggs. Don't break them. You're gonna be in trouble if this breaks. This, my pockets aren't very big. Let me just put my hand. My battery's dying. Come on, Tanner. <sighs> yeah, it's okay. It's good for you. Thank you, ladies. I took your eggs. I know. I'm sorry. Come on. Jesus. That's fun. That's fun. Can't do it with me. Oh, that one died. You really don't need a mold. No, but the mold makes them stay. Maybe not. I didn't say rounder, but I guess not. Oh, that one was good. Oh, any rounder? Eat that one, or this one. Or, I mean, I guess I would, but there's like cracks in it. Whoa, it sounds so weird. Can we eat it yet? No, that's what you dad. Which one should I have? This, this one. one. I'll have this one. Let's see. Hold on, I gotta open it. You didn't sound good. Got the release. Shh. Ready? Mm -hmm. It's a peanut butter cup. Oh, so pretty. I have the great good thickness. I think a little bit too much chocolate. More peanut butter. I like a lot of chocolate. I like it. 
It's good. I like more peanut butter though. I like less peanut butter. I've done a little bit more work to the bacon mobile, but I guess we really should call it the pastured pig mobile mobile. Let's come up with some kind of terminology like that for it. Let me go over and show you what we did and I'll explain to you what we're going to be using it for a little bit. I put the plywood up here, put the half inch mesh, and I also made the ramp. This is out of three quarter inch thick pressure treated plywood. I have just a temporary latch for now. I got to figure out a better latching system. We got to do some trim work. The plywood's four feet wide by 63 inches long. Let's drop it down. We got two of our gate style hinges. And then I'll show you what I did with the two bys on the bottom. So these two bys are to give the plywood more rigidity. And also I have it cut with a 20, I also have it cut with a 27 degree angle. So that way it pushes up against this rear bumper. So we're not just putting all the stress on the hinges. We're also going to have some of the stress here when the pigs are walking up and down. We did that on both sides. I'm going to have to put some cleats here where they can walk up. And in this area is where the pigs are going to sleep. So this is their door. If we need to access and get in, we can get in this way. We've had a lot of people asking why we made it so tall. It's five feet, three inches tall. This way so we can get in there and we can clean it out and we don't gotta be bent over and whacking our head all the time. I use pressure, I use the pressure treated plywood this way. It's gonna be out in the weather. If it's getting rained on, it's lying in mud. It's gonna take a lot longer for it to rot. I still need to build the peak roof for it and the roof is going to extend over the front. We left 32 inches overhang here and we'll cover that with the roof. We're going to put gutters on the pasture pig mobile. This way we can collect rainwater. We'll have a 55 gallon drum up front to hold the rainwater and we'll be able to have the feed up here. The goal of this project is to have a self-contained pastured pig mobile where we can collect water. We can bring them anywhere on the property and I don't got to worry about lugging water to them all the time. And we'll have the feed out there. We can be able to put the pastured fence right on the front when we're moving it. We're going to have to move this with either a small lawnmower, a four-wheeler, side-by-side, or a Kubota tractor. It's going to weigh, the pigs are going to weigh a couple hundred pounds anyways when they're both in there plus the structure. In the past when we've been raising pigs on pasture here, we'll start them off in one area, we'll fence in a pastured area for them and they eat that area. We open up a bigger area and they have the old and the new. This way we can move them from one end of the property to the other end of the property without having any issues. So as you guys are watching this video, the barn's already been delivered. Well, it hasn't been delivered to me yet, but when you're watching the video, it's already been delivered. So that'll be the upcoming video. Hopefully that all goes well. If you guys want in on the giveaway for the cheese making kit, all you have to do is sign up for the Heritage Cooking Crash Course. If you already have, awesome. And then leave a comment down below. And at, by and tomorrow morning, I'll pick the winner of that. And I'll reply back to you in your comment. So be on the lookout for me replying back to your comments. So that way I can get your email address and we can go from there whoever is the lucky winner. Thanks for coming along on our journey with us, guys. These peanut butter cups are delicious. The worst part is, now we're probably going to eat them. And we don't need them, but uh, we need to work on our diet. We've had a long winter, and when you have a long winter, for us anyways, you end up cooking a lot of things and getting in the kitchen because it's too cold outside. So I'll see you guys right back here in the next video at Lumna Acres, and hopefully the barn delivery goes well. Catch you guys in the next video. Bye.